Hey GED students, it's GED question of the daytime. And today we've been asked which of the following pairs of lines are perpendicular. Perpendicular, that is a GED math vocab word. Uh, really it's a geometry vocabulary word, but one you ought to know for the GED. Uh, one, you should know it by definition, what it means um, is that the two lines cross at a perfect 90 degree angle. Uh, but secondly, you should know what that means on a graph. Um, when we're talking about graphing lines, which is where perpendicular most comes up on the GED, um, we have to know that when two lines are perpendicular, perpendicular, their slopes are what we call opposite reciprocals. Opposite reciprocals. Uh, when I say opposite, opposite, I'm talking about signs. So if one's positive, the other's negative, opposite. And when I say reciprocals, I'm talking about flipping a fraction. So like if one was two thirds, I could flip it. The reciprocal of two thirds would be three halves. So again, if two lines are perpendicular, their slopes are going to be uh, different in two ways. One, they'll be opposite signs and two, they'll be flipped of each other's fractions. The rise will be the run, the run will be the rise. I've done two other videos on this, the last two questions of the day. So if you need more background than that, go check those out. But let's go ahead and tackle this problem. Now, notice that the lines I see here, like on part A, say y is equal to some number of x plus five. That makes me happy. Whenever I see a line written in this form, I get really excited because it's a form I recognize it. I recognize. I recognize it as what we call the slope intercept form on the GED. Great news is you don't have to have this memorized because it is on your formula sheet. Bad news is you have to be super, super good at analyzing this thing. So you should know that when I look at this y equals mx plus b, the m, the number shoved up against the x is the slope of the line. So basically when you have that letter Y alone there, you can tell what the slope of a line is just by looking at whatever number shoved up against X. So like in A, uh, this guy has a slope of two. Now this guy, the second one, uh, has a slope of one half. I see one half shoved up against the X. Now you might be getting excited right now noticing, oh my gosh, those are reciprocals. If you noticed, you're right. Two can be written as two over one is definitely a reciprocal of one half. Those are reciprocals. So check, they're different in one way. But careful, we said when lines were perpendicular, they were different in two ways. They're both opposites and reciprocals. It can't be this pair. Let's take a look at the next pair. This one uh, has a slope of negative 2. Negative 2 is the number shoved up against the x here, so negative 2 is the slope. And same thing here. Both of these two lines have a slope of negative 2. These lines aren't perpendicular. They're parallel. Parallel lines have the same slope. This is a wrong answer. Okay. Let's look at the next one. Uh, next one. Again, I can see that this line is in the form y is equal to some number of x, mx, plus a number b. And so I can see that m, that m is that slope is two. Same thing here, shoved up against that x, that slope is negative two. Now you might be getting excited again, like look, those are opposites, they have different signs. But careful, like we said, perpendicular lines have to be opposites in two ways, opposite signs, but also reciprocals. Those are not flips or reciprocals of each other. So dear goodness, it better be d, let's check it out. So I can see that on uh, D, um, the first line that they tell me about has a slope of one half, one over two. Obviously a positive uh, slope since it doesn't have a sign in front of it, it must be positive. And then I come over here and look at this guy's slope and I use the letter M for slope um, like most mathematicians do. I'm too lazy. Uh, to write out the word slope. And I can see the slope here is negative two. Now let's take a look at these. Are they opposite in two ways? Do we have two numbers that are opposite signs? Well, absolutely we do. The first number is positive and the second number is negative. These are opposite signs or opposites. And then do we have two numbers that are reciprocals? Well, this is the number one over two. Now you might be saying to me, Kate, that's not a fraction. So no, it's not a reciprocal. Careful, you can throw any whole number over one. And definitely one half is a reciprocal of two over one. And so these two numbers are opposite reciprocals. Therefore, they must be perpendicular. 
And again, you have to just know that. You just have to know for the GED that um, lines that are perpendicular have slopes that are opposite reciprocals. It's one of the things that you should just know for your math test. All right, if you have any questions about this or any other GED math concept, be sure to drop it in the comments. I'll do my best to answer it.